everybody. Cat here. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm just impromptu doing this really quick because I was getting ready my taco stuff and realized I have a lot of pampered chef that I am working with tonight. So first is my can opener. What's awesome about this can opener is you can use it left-handed or right-handed. And a regular can opener you can't. And I'm left-handed. So sometimes I struggle with a regular one. And then that little grabber on the side, I'm going to use to pull off. And this is like, this is smooth. And, oh, I didn't even get it out, but, oh, I think it's in dishwasher. My can strainer. This, $10. Like the best things ever seems so simple, but I don't know how I lived without one for so long. So I am going to throw down a few of these olives, and I could buy them already sliced, but they cost a little bit more that way. Or you get a smaller container for the same price. So this is the food chopper, and I'm just gonna, I don't want it like really, really fine, so I'm just gonna do it like three times. Oh, uh, maybe a couple more. Whereas like a food processor, you get everything like ground really, really little. I'm gonna put all my ingredients in these one cup prep bowls. my olives I'm using my cutting board too um next I'm gonna do the onion so this is the coated Santoku knife um, I also have the the other Santoku knife and it's a little bit bigger um but this one works just as well only difference is there isn't a lifetime guarantee on the coated sets and they can't be sharpened. Otherwise, I mean, I've had this one for a year and I use it for almost everything. It's like my go-to knife. Um, so I'm just getting my onion ready and I'm gonna put the food chopper on that too. So what are y'all's plans for supper on Cinco de Mayo? I um, didn't even have tacos planned, but I had almost everything I needed and actually had a grocery order that I needed to place anyway. So I thought, why not? We usually do at least one taco night a week at our house. And, oh, I'm browning my beef behind me. I kind of forgot until I, until I heard it sizzling back there. And I'm going to use my mix and chop. I just stirred up a little bit. I just stirred it, so... Uh, it's good for a while. Um, next, oh, where's my avocado for guac? Um, I believe that the guac mix is out of stock right now, um, but the avocado tool is available things awesome this was new um in march in our spring line so on this end we have a sharp side and a dull side and so i'm going to use this edge to just cut through the skin oh this one doesn't feel 
very ripe. Kind of hard. Most times it just goes through super easy. That looks okay. Um, and then to get the pit out, we have the other end. It's got some prongs in there. And you just... Oh, this really is kind of... Kind of a not very ripe avocado. I'm gonna have to get it out with a fork. Sorry, it's not actually working the way it's supposed to, but this avocado is um, kind of tough. There we go. And then I'm gonna go back to the smooth side to just scoop around the skin. I don't know, do you guys know? Does Unripe avocado taste okay in guacamole. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm gonna Google right when I'm done with supper? Is how to tell if an avocado is ripe or not. I guess I could have squeezed it before I started chopping it up. Um, and so then with the guac mix, Use one tablespoon. <laughs> one tablespoon to one avocado. I don't know if this is going to turn out the best. <clears throat> and adjustable measuring spoons. This is another. Ten dollar item goes from one tablespoon down to one teaspoon and then it comes with a teaspoon size that um, I think it goes from a quarter teaspoon all the way up to two teaspoons two teaspoons makes three teaspoons makes a tablespoon so you can get all your sizes out of just those two tools so here's my one tablespoon of the guacamole mix. And then to mix up the guac mix, I have the mix and mash. So I've only used this for guacamole so far. But um so this is good to mash up your avocados. I would say not potatoes, maybe mash potatoes, but we have the potato masher for that. So I'm gonna set that aside. Um and then I'm probably gonna chop up some jalapenos too. And actually, we're not having just any regular tacos today. We are making um, kind of like a, well, what does Taco Bell call it? Can't remember. Crunchwrap Supreme, where you have the soft shell taco, and then the, the um, well, I'll just show you. No, I'm not going to show you. So you put the soft shell taco, and then you do cheese, and then you put the hard shell taco in there, and we throw it in the oven just to heat it up and melt the cheese together. So then we have like um, a hard shell inside the soft shell taco. And so these are the V-shaped bakers, and they're in the clearance right now because they were discontinued, and so they're only available while supplies last. Um, so check them out. You go right in the oven. Um, I'm sure there's other things if you look on Pinterest that you can do with these, but so far I've just done the tacos. So I think that's all I've got for my fixings. I didn't buy a tomato because we do salsa and taco sauce. So we're covered in the tomato section there. Um, 
hamburger's not done, but I just want to show you. This is the 10 inch stainless steel skillet. And um, it's got this cool non stick, um, like um, honeycomb design on the inside. And um, I love this, this pan. Uh, I also have the regular non-stick pans. I do prefer those, but I still really, really like this one. I also fry my hamburger in a cast iron, too. Um, so that's all I've got for Taco Night Cinco de Mayo, and I hope you enjoyed watching me.